dynamic discs might be on the top of the food chain with their supreme lineup. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to Disc Respect Disc Golf. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Dynamic Disc Supreme Escape. Okay, first of all, I just wanna say that right now in disc golf, manufacturers are making some of the best discs that they've ever made before. And I know there's been tons of runs of discs, tons of molds from every company. Um, some companies have hundreds and hundreds of molds that they've made. But right now, the quality of the plastic is, in my opinion, far better than it's ever been. And I've only been playing disc golf for two and a half years. Um, I've seen and thrown everything from base plastic, your star type plastics, your champion type plastics, and, um, and thrown discs from a lot of different manufacturers. And yes, there are always certain flaws in discs, whether it be the stamps, um, if they don't come out correctly, or just flashing on the disc, or just minor imperfections. But right now, I'll tell you what, dynamic discs might be on the top of the food chain with their supreme lineup. Now, we're gonna be looking at the Escape today. This is their fairway driver. And this is a kind of a neutral to understable fairway driver. It doesn't have the numbers listed, but I'm pretty sure the escape numbers are nine, five, negative one, two. Um, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys to see in case I'm wrong, but I'll put the correct numbers up either way. Um, gosh, I don't even have enough good things to say about this disc. First of all, this Supreme plastic is, it just blows me away <laughs> every single time. It's literally so good. Um, if you saw my review on the Grand Orbit Grace, um, this is pretty much the same plastic to that. Uh, this might not be quite as soft, but it's it's pretty comparable. I mean, dynamic disc and latitude are in close relation to each other, so this is dynamic disc plastic. Um, this is basically the same plastic as the Felon that I reviewed before. Um, so let's kind of take a look at the profile real quick. So just looking at this, you can see it does have a bit of an understable look to it. This kind of comes over, whenever a disc is understable, it, it looks like the top is kind of folding over the bottom some, almost like a mushroom type of effect. Um, so you can really see that, but it's, it's not, the parting line isn't super low, so you know it's not going to be crazy flippy, but it's definitely going to be neutral to understable. Um, and again, there's no flashing on this. It looks just absolutely incredible. You can see it's just so smooth all around. And also I love their touch with all these little dynamic discs, uh, little emblems that they have on the bottom here. This thing just feels like butter. It is literally... Am I gonna say it? <laughs> like it literally seems like perfection. They have done such a good job with just perfecting the art and the science of making good discs and finding out what plastics and polymers and all that. And I don't know if polymer is the right word. I'm not like super <laughs> sciencey, but I feel like I've heard people say that. So <laughs> um, I'm just the guy that's gonna tell you kind of basically what you need to know about the plastic and how it flies. I'm not gonna get super nerdy on you. But yeah, to kind of wrap that up, the plastic is just sublime. There's a vocab word for you. <laughs> it just, it feels great in the hand. Um, it feels really, really good for backhand grip. Just kind of digging all my fingers under there. That feels really, really good. And then on a forehand, it's comfortable as well. Usually for forehand discs, I like discs that are flatter. If a disc is too domey, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable with where my thumb sits on the disc. Um, this one's kind of in between flat and domey. It's it's not crazy domey, but it's got enough where you know it's gonna glide for a while. And I would say it's fairly comfortable on the grip. I'd probably, for a forehand grip, I'd probably give this like a seven out of 10. For the backhand grip, 
probably like a 9 out of 10. That feels really, really good, just gripping it with the backhand. Um, what else to know about this disc? Man, I've thrown some escapes before. Um, I've thrown some base plastic ones and some, I believe, lucid escapes. And really, this one outclasses them all, both in the plastic and the flight. So, again, this plastic is just amazing, and it's also very durable. Um, with this type of plastic, you, you can hit trees, and you can just absolutely beat the snot out of this disc. And it holds up really, really well. It will last, I would say, probably three times as long as your average disc. Yeah, <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. So, we're going to go out to the field now, and give us some tests on forehands. We're gonna try a couple backhands and we're gonna do different angles on this to see how it shapes up. There's not a whole lot of wind right now, so we'll get a pretty accurate gauge on exactly how this flies, how much torque it can handle, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go out to the field now and watch this puppy fly. All right, first throw, we're gonna throw the escape hard and flat on a forehand. Oh yeah. That thing has some good distance on it, wow. It just holds straight for a while. The fade's not too crazy, where it's just gonna skip or something like that. I don't really think this is a disc that will skip uh, at least not any big skips at all. So let's see the flight again on a flat forehand. Now I'm gonna throw it on a forehand hyzer and let's see if it flips up to flat or not. Now this is a new disc, so it might not flip to flat, but it should at least push on that hyzer for a while. Yeah, that's nice. Definitely push for a while. Pretty good distance. All right, now we're gonna throw it on some Anheuser. I'm gonna give it a little bit more height so it has the time to pan out of that and get a full flight. Let's see if we can get the 350 foot mark. That is really, really smooth. Wow. One thing I'll say is some discs, when you release them, they almost feel like they just want to stick to your hand or something. And some discs, you can't always get the, the right amount of spin out of your hands. That disc, however, it feels so clean. Just snapping it out like, I don't know, it just feels so natural just gripping it in my hand like that. So that is a big plus in my book. One thing that I love to do with like slightly flippy fairways is put them down on just a little bit of a cut angle and see how they can perform for a roller. So we're gonna test out this bad boy on a roller. See how, see how long it holds the cut angle and see if it can be good for a distance roller. Yeah, that's it. Okay, it doesn't hold it forever. Not bad. It's curling back up on the hill on the left side. I am going to attempt to throw this on a backhand now. Um, for those of you don't, who don't know, I had surgery in December, uh, ACL surgery on my right knee, which is like my plant knee for backhands. But my therapist did want me to start to try to throw some standstill backhands. These might only go 200 feet, but I'll try to put this on a little bit of Anheuser just so we can see how the flight might be with a backhand. So here we go. Wow, that is straight. Wow. <laughs> that thing holds straight forever with the backhand. That was beautiful. <laughs> Second backhand for you. Man, that is such a nice flight. Wow. 
I'm not nearly ripping on that as much as I could, but gosh, that flight is so nice. That's gonna do it for the video, guys. Let me know if you learned anything about this disc. Let me know if you'd like to see any other particular disc reviews. Um, totally open to suggestions for specific discs that you'd like me to review. Any company, any mold, any plastic, <laughs> just send it my way and I'll do a video. Um, thanks so much for watching and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope this video was supreme enough for you guys. This thing is money. Pick one up. See ya.